So I love the book of Psalms. I love reading about how David and how many others poured their heart out to the Lord. I love how they bring their whole selves to the Lord. Whenever I am going through anything in life, I know that I can read the Psalms and there's another that shares in that experience. I've had some high highs and I'm able to praise the Lord and worship God. And there's a Psalm for that. But I know in my lowest of lows, I can go to the Psalm and I can read one that helps me through it. I know when I'm confused, when I don't understand what God's doing, when I'm angry with God, when I am trying to figure out what the Lord is doing and why he won't respond to me, that there's a psalm for that as well. Some people feel so alone in their walks with Christ. And I want to tell you that if that is the case, go to the Psalms. There are Psalms where David is telling the Lord, I'm crying out to you. Why don't you respond? There are Psalms where David is so happy and worshiping the Lord. There are Psalms where David is crying out for help. There are Psalms where David is magnifying the Lord and is comparatively considering us and saying, we are so small. How are we worthy of you? Whatever it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you are going through, there's a psalm that will speak to it. Are you feeling like people don't understand, like people are against you, like people are setting you up for failure? Are you worried? Are you concerned about a situation that's going on in your job where it feels like there's uncertainty and you are being set up for failure? Is there a case being drawn up against you? There's a psalm for that, that David speaks to. Are you unsure of what God is doing? Do you even feel like at times God is not on your side? There's a psalm for that. You see, David wrote many of the psalms, not all of them, but many. And he was honest, he was real, he was raw with the Lord. He didn't have a formula for prayer. He didn't have a strategy, a methodology for prayer. He just brought his whole self to the Lord. He just brought everything he had to the Lord. Good, bad, ugly, sad, sorrowful. He brought it all to God. And God loved him so. He's known as a man that was after God's own heart. He was after God's 
heart. Know that you're not alone in your various feelings towards God, whatever they may be. Know that you're not alone and unique in your experiences with God. The word tells us that there are other Christians in the body of Christ that are going through the same exact thing. Do you see them? Can you teach them? Can you talk to them? Can you share with them? Can you connect with them? Not always, but you can with David. David is there to show you that you're not alone. Read through the Psalms. Find one that resonates even in your deepest troubles. 